going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you guys some loot. We're gonna be opening up some packages, rolling some legendaries. Uh, just taking a look at loot in general throughout this game. I've been doing a lot of looting, I guess you can say, because I've been playing all the new House of Wolves stuff. I've even gone back to some of the old stuff. I started running now the Daily Crucible because you need Marks of Passage or whatever you call those for the... <laughs> There's just so much stuff, guys. I can barely keep track of it. But I've noticed that one of the main reasons I saved up a lot of this loot was because of the way that the game had progressed. There wasn't any more weapons to get. I had fallen into a nice routine. I knew which weapons were going to be reliable for me. And then the game changed with the uh, special ammo drops. And this is one of the rifles that's that was waiting for me. And I'm like, okay, perfect. Perfect. Any time before that if I would have opened this package I would have been like don't need that because there was so much special ammo to go around back then. This is another nice drop that I got, the Fear Rocket Launcher. It has great base stats and it actually rolled with good stats to begin with. It's got the Battle Runner, it also has the Horseshoes and I think that this is this is definitely a vendor weapon and the perks are either similar or exactly the same and it's a great rocket launcher. Also, you want to take note that I do put on my class item. That's why I'm opening up all the packages based on from what faction they are, because you do get a little bit of extra rep. Now, if you're wondering how long it actually took me to do this, I started doing this two to three weeks after the Dark Below actually dropped, once I fell into that comfortable routine and I was happy with all my weapons. And this is actually the first time that I've actually seen a weapon or an armor piece actually. I want the Ram Helmet, it would actually complement my game so well. And it's actually the first time that I've been like, I really just want this helmet but I'm at the mercy of RNG and it really affects the way I've been playing lately because I'm like, how can I get this exotic? I actually tried a couple of rolls on the engram, that didn't work out. And from here on, I'm just kind of like left waiting and it actually kind of sucks. That's the first time I've actually felt that about this game when it came to loot. So that's my confession there. I am actually playing this game strictly for the Ram Helmet and now I understand other people when they were like, I really just want the Galahorn. And I was just like, what? It's just a rocket launcher. And I'm like, okay, I finally understand. Anyways, we're going to grab all the engrams that we found and let's roll some. We got Ruin Wings and... Let's see if anything of note comes up. The Red Death, I already had that rifle so it wasn't anything to get too excited about. And another Longbow Synthesis. And I end up doing this routine quite a few times where I run from here to there to open up a package that I just got from this guy. And that's like a friend giving you a gift. You open it up and then there's another gift that's duct taped and then you open that up and it's like full of peanut butter. Like, it's just like, why would you do that? Just give me whatever you're gonna give me. I've already opened up the package, like, stop screwing around, right? <laughs> but it's really just about investing more time and kind of making you feel like you're doing more than you really are. Because there's really no reason for him to just not drop you the weapons. But that's just what you're signing up for whenever you're playing any random number generated game for loot. You just kind of have to let the chips fall where they may and be happy with what you're going to get. However, if you want to maximize the odds, you may want to try using our weapon database. I was actually meaning to walk some of you through it because I know there's a lot of new weapons. There's also a lot of customization and there is definitely a certain way you want to go about it if you want to get the most out of your weapons and the modes of light that you're going to be spending on rolling these. If you go back, if if you want to look at those helmets, I actually got one with the uh, grenade hit, replenish melee, and also the other way around. And it's always good to have a couple of pieces of armor that do things like that. Because if you're going to switch out your arms or your helmet or your chest, usually you want to make sure that the perks that each of them have kind of complement each other and you don't overlap. This is one of the drops and this is pretty much one of the best drops from the last packages. It came with three rockets but no horseshoes so there was really no reason to keep it. The Exodus plan is not particularly good. You're better off just buying the Fear or the Valedictoria and those are great rocket launchers with great perks right off the shelf. And we're just about done on this character. I tried the 1-1 one -one synthesis. I I actually didn't like it too much. I had it, I got it with full auto and I thought I could get, you know, maybe some decent uh, firepower from it, but it didn't really end up working out, at least not for my play style. I did get, however, a blue uh, Sparrow, which is really cool. I want to upgrade it with Xur because it actually has the brakes instead of those little uh, bumpers on the legendary one that lets you go quickly left to right. I want to try it out for the ether chest that we 
we've been getting. Those <laughs> those have great loots, and I'm always trying to get four to five runs, especially in the Skywatch. That's the best place to farm them. And that was the bonus round, and I couldn't believe I actually got a new legendary scout rifle from a uh, blue. And this is actually a pretty good scout rifle. It's got good damage. It's got medium damage. Uh, I want to roll it for some. Uh, full auto because I, I I don't really like pulling the trigger. I'm kind of lazy like that, I'll admit it. Uh, but I've been meaning to try to get into scout rifles now that they do have full auto and you can actually roll the perks, which I think is really cool. And moving on to my female warlock, my second love, because I really like blade dancing right now. It is just taken over my play style, especially in the Trials of Osiris. I was surprised by how much I like using my arc blades, especially for that heavy round. And her right hand is a great auto rifle. It kind of sucks that post nerf that auto rifles are just not viable i would love to actually have tried some of these auto rifles out i probably would have rolled quite a few unfortunately that really wasn't an option just like this uh secret handshake that i ended up getting that was pre house of wolves so you can re-roll it just like this against all odds but there was already a great against all odds from the crucible vendors so most people weren't really looking for a roll for this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that all right, let's keep going. Let's open up some Dead Orbit, and I'm gonna show you guys the best thing that came out of all these packages. It actually ends up being that Exodus plan, and it is actually nothing special again. But the difference with this one is that you can actually re-roll it, but if you have the Valedictorian or the Fear, which you can buy, then you probably don't wanna stick with that Rocket Launcher. It has pretty bad base stats. It doesn't compete with the other ones. And I'm actually holding on to my commendations in case I want to level up something quickly. Uh, you may also want to be actually searching for a weapon. Well, that's not the greatest idea because it can get your expectations a little high. Oh, you see that helmet? That's a Titan helmet. Titans have the coolest gear. Except for the Ram helmet, but I don't have that and I also don't want to talk about it. But if you are searching for a weapon, you want to find out what faction is dropping it so you can pretty much sink in all your rep there and hope for the best. We're gonna get a couple of helmets here. I'm gonna check them out. I think one of them ends up being actually decent. There is also gonna be a drop for a rocket launcher. There it is, the Admonisher. It actually has the same stats as the uh, as the Valedictorian. So if you wanna roll that for a Valedictorian kind of um, feel, but with your own unique perks, then that's something you can try out with that one. And if you're wondering how I know all these things, I'm just looking at the database. It puts all these things into nice charts. You can make it from top to bottom based on impact, uh, rate of fire, or how fast the reload is, depending on what you're looking for. But it, all that information is there. Here's another auto rifle with the crowd control perk. And I think that's a great perk. That's why I actually enjoy using the Vex. If you learn to use that, you can actually take a guy out in like six bullets, I believe, maybe five headshots as well when you have that multiplier. So you have to take advantage of that whether you use the extended clip or not you have to get used to knowing that once you've killed a guy with a vex then you're holding the biggest gun out there it is supreme especially at close ranges you kind of have to get almost into fusion rifle range which it is <laughs> sometimes you forget about that you really can't be spraying this i actually use it with the sended perk because i know how bad the range is on it and you have to also remember that when using that anyways this is the admonisher 3 it came with uh decent perks nothing too special but i can re-roll it so that's the benefit of that that's that cool Titan helmet. And let's see what I got here. I have, again, that choice of causing damage with grenade reduces your melee cooldown. But it had the orb thing as the second one, and that's not something I was looking for. This one, yes, increased melee and more super energy with grenades. I am mostly a crucible guy, so I do like things like that. So that's what I'm looking for in my armor perks. And what you're looking for is definitely going to be based on your playstyle. And it's nice to have all this choice. I actually walked around the vendors first because I had all my marks maxed out for the new uh, DLC. So when I went there, I actually did some upgrades to my armor. There were a few higher discipline and intellect rolls that I could just buy from the vendor. So that was a good way to start off the game. And that's pretty much it for my female. I'm going to go over to my bank and just show you all the blues that I had. This was just before the House of Wolves dropped. I'm sure we all had this problem <laughs> when we were all hunting these ether chests for some keys. You were definitely getting a lot of blues and it's actually pretty easy to max out your Cryptarch if that's something that you're into. You can actually race to the next area. You can go from Skywatch to the Forgotten Shore. Typically the events actually happen at the same time to, to discourage things like that. But if the other side happens to kill their guys slower or nobody's there, 
sometimes they won't trigger it right away, you do actually have enough time to sparrow from one area to the other and actually maximize the times that you can go for this ether chest. So that's just something you guys may want to know. That's kind of the new loot cave. That's the easiest way to get blues and to try to max out that crypt arc. And also remember that you want to fill up your inventory so you're not picking up those special synths because you can't throw them away. But I have to admit, I've actually enjoyed just having them on me now. Anytime that I'm just like, I'm like, mm, I could use a few extra special bullets, I pull that out and it's kind of nice. That final rest fusion rifle actually has fantastic base stats. I ended up getting two of them and I ended up rolling both of them because you know you usually want to have two so you can actually go for that optimal roll and keep at least a decent roll because you don't want to blow all your moats on one weapon. They can go by so fast guys and it's kind of like the casino and unfortunately a lot of you guys are probably underage and you have to learn that you can't always just throw all your money on black. <laughs> it just doesn't work, trust me guys. I know it has, it's worked for me in the past, but I've also done it and it hasn't, <laughs> and it sucks. And that's my last package. I'm gonna go over to the Cryptarch and roll the dice with a couple of blues. And something does actually end up dropping for me and I'm pretty surprised, but it's actually a really good helmet. It's one of those ones that's made for Crucible as well. It gives you increased melee attack speed and more super energy from grenades and it actually had a really good stat roll. It had a high intellect and discipline. I typically use Mask of the Third Man, but if I want to switch up to some arms or a chest, it was a nice substitute, so I was pretty happy with that. The cycle continues. I get a package, I go back to the Cryptarch, and here it happens again. I used, I happen to have one more blue, I go in to trade it in, and it turns into a hard luck charm. And that pretty much sums up my experience with Destiny. This is my first Nightfall, and it's all about luck, and it was a little bit hard on me this time around. And this has actually taught me a lot about Destiny. I just have to embrace RNG, go at it. And this is what I ended up getting one of those times. This helmet's great for the Cabal Room. It actually lets me regenerate my shields at a pretty fast rate. And with all the riches, the temptation is high to just think about gear in this game, but you sometimes have to go back from there and just be happy with whatever you happen to get, even if it's not what you want, because that's really what I've learned from this first week of House of Wolves. And I was at all the big chests this week, and I didn't quite get what I wanted. But just like Christmas, you look at your aunt, you tell her you love her, give her a kiss, and you can't wait for them to come back next year to give you whatever the hell they happen to give you, and you're gonna smile about it. Welcome to Destiny, and be thankful for what you got. Look, this one actually has a higher intellect roll, so that's not too bad. Thanks for joining me, guys. Keep up the grind, do your best, and enjoy the game. I have been having a blast, host of wolves. Trials of Osiris, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining me, Guardians. I'm Paper, cut to you with Planet Destiny, and I'll see you next time. So close.